What if I told you that in order to be a good photographer, you had to take bad pictures on purpose? I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. Hello and welcome back to another POV photography episode. We're in downtown Greenville. We're shooting on the Sony a7 III with a 50 millimeter lens. Let's take some bad pictures on purpose. All right, boom. And for this, so if you're going out and you're just taking photos, for right now, I'm putting this in auto and that's just so that I don't get so caught up in the settings. I just want to point at things and shoot. Boom, bad pictures on purpose. What's the way that I can make that look bad? Okay, look at that. Why is that a bad picture? Because I didn't even get the whole thing in there. Let's see. Okay, bad picture. All right, so I have a method to my madness. The reason why I say you have to take bad pictures to be a better photographer is just because if you know how to take a bad picture, then you know what goes into a good photo. So you're able to reverse engineer. So if I'm sitting here and I see a scene in front of me, I can be like, how can I make this look bad? Then I know what it would take to make it look good. So for example, if I just point and shoot, well, I know that, hey, I just put my camera up there. I didn't take any time to frame that. So if I do take that time to frame it and I do line things up and I do have a nice composition, then I know that those things are gonna make a strong photo rather than spraying and praying, right? And as a photographer, one thing that happens is you can get stagnant and you can get stuck taking the same photo over and over and it's just very frustrating. So this is a good way to get out of that. If you're having that problem, boom. The other thing that's interesting is you'll notice that when you go to take photos of stuff that captures, captures your eye, you just have this kind of default, like for me, I'm lining up the third of my camera, that line, on these different things and I find myself doing these things on purpose that I didn't even realize. So it's like, why is that photo bad? That photo is bad because the focus wasn't on the right thing. So the car is out of focus, that's in focus, and the composition wasn't strong. Why is that a bad photo? Because I didn't get the whole car in the photo? This, why is that a bad photo? Because there's not a clear subject in there. I mean, the tree's kind of the subject, but it's cut out. You get the back of this truck, you get the back of this car, not a strong subject, doesn't tell a good story, very basic, and the tree's centered. It's not like the tree's off to the side like that. It's not like there's anything interesting in the, the photo. Here, we're just gonna take that. I actually kinda, look, I kinda like that. But why would that be considered a bad photo? Because where's the subject? What am I taking a photo of? What am I focusing on? It just makes it a lot easier to keep these things in mind in the future. Another thing that's very powerful about it is the fact that you're able to take the pressure off your photography. Instead of trying to take a good photo every time, you just get to point at stuff that captures your attention snap a photo and even though I'm trying to take a bad photo I get to look at this and realize oh there's actually some stuff that I like about this photo even though I'm taking bad photos there's things about each photo that I still like like right there we centered the light post and the reason that's not a good photo is just because you know what am I taking a photo of but if I come off to the side here we've got that car in the bottom third the photo could be about the cars it could be that black beard building right back there or we could even just take that photo there. And I'm not trying to just show, you know, the knowledge I have of photography or anything like that. Like this video isn't for me to try to say, hey, I'm a better photographer than you, or you should listen to me or any of that. Just about the fact that you should just be out taking photos of anything. Because even if you're out shooting bad photos, you're taking photos, you're learning, you're gonna get better. You can't get better without taking photos. It's repetitive, but it's the truth. This is a little bit of a selfish image. Selfish image. I like foreground elements. I find myself shooting a lot of uh, vertical photos too. Hey, excuse me, man. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Really quick. Sorry to bother you. I was wondering, can I take a picture, y'all? Really quick. I just I do photography and I practice. Sure. I just like the mullet. I like the haircuts. Yeah, okay. Got you. Ready? Yeah. I just trying to get more shots of people and then you mind if I take one individually yeah. all right perfect ready I'm gonna have you sit right there I like the traffic kind of behind you give me one second a little bit of patience cars coming one two three there we go I like that and then could I get you kind of standing right there as well and I'm gonna get the building behind you I'm gonna have you look off to the Mars sign here ready one two three there we go and then just maybe look off to the tattoo right there just to get more of a profile showcase the mullet one two three there we go so 
so I'm trying to get better at interacting with people and you know, I make videos on YouTube as well. And so I'm trying to turn that into client work just to kind of give you guys an idea. Thank you. Yeah, Super quick. You could check that out. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, Thank nice. you so much. Yeah, Thanks nice for stopping. You, yeah, I'm sorry to bother you guys. Good, Have a great day. Hi. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's a bad photo because she looked away. I love that. Ready? One, two. Smile. Oh, Audrey. Why do you keep looking away? Audrey. I didn't just come up to a random people. This is my, this is my wife and this is my baby daughter, Audrey. Just so that I don't look like I'm just randomly approaching people. Whoa! There we go, that was a cool photo. I love how this started like with me taking bad photos and they're actually kind of good. Some of them, some of them suck, but like that one wasn't good. It was cute, but you look nice. Should I go ask to take a picture of that dog? Hey, excuse me. Sorry to bother you, I just want to take a picture of your dog. Yeah. I just, I go around, I shoot photos and so. Yeah, Thank you so much. What's his name? Her, her name? Marla. Her name's Marla. Marla. Hi, puppy dog. Hi. Let's see. Thank you guys. You guys have a great day. Love how we're just standing in traffic. Screw it. No big. Yeah, I know. I wasn't planning on that. My social anxiety just went whoop. It's like I'm just gonna do huh? And and she's so bouncy. Well, my 10 minutes are up. Should we go get a coffee? Oh, I like that actually. You ready? What time is it? It's six. Are they close? Oh, it's 5:56. Hold on. I'm gonna ask. Hey, excuse me. Is it still too late to get a coffee? Are you sure? I don't want to be a bother. I just, my goal for the day was to go take photos, come get a coffee. I'll apologize profusely till I leave here. How's that? Is that a good trade? Can I just do a vanilla latte, like a small one, and then whatever she wants? Thank you. And then that one's cool, because it's a cool idea. Photo inspiration for later. And just like that, that is the end of another Actually, no, I gotta wait. I can't stop until I get the coffee. Thank you so much. <sighs> coffee just tastes better at 6 p.m. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Do you want me to, do you need help carrying that? I'm so excited to see the 360 cam, the chest cam. It's gonna look so funny. It might actually look dope, but it's like from such an unflattering angle. So I can like play with that a lot, I think. And just like that, that's the end of another successful POV photography episode. Cheers. Remember, if you're not taking bad photos on purpose, you're not a good photographer. <laughs>